So we're paving from southbound I-35 from about the 635 on-ramp to just past 95th Street. We paved concrete before the asphalt started. We patched big cracks and pits in the concrete, and now we are paving over it. We have an inch base under the asphalt of RCI, which is a reflective crack inner layer. It reduces the cracks from the concrete from going up through the asphalt, and it makes the asphalt last longer, but it's expensive. That's why it's only an inch thick. It's only a base. Then we pave the asphalt overlay on top of it. This project involved a lot of concrete patching as well as the mill and overlay that's currently taking place. We've been out here since March 18th doing our concrete patching. There's a lot of potholes and other things involved on this project that we had to fill in before the the existing roadway was able to be overlaid. We'll be out here probably until at least October. Potentially by Thanksgiving, we should hopefully have things wrapped up. Uh, we're a little bit ahead of schedule, but that's kind of where we stand right now. So we start at seven and we have until six in the morning to get off the road. It's for the convenience of the traveling public. The workers like it because it's somewhat safer. You don't have heat exhaustion during the day in the summer months. And also there's less traffic in the middle of the night. So it's a better time to be out here if you've got to be out here. There's a lot of, a lot of safety, not only with, with traffic, but with the work site itself that's involved. You know, we have, to, we have to make sure that we're making constant contact with the operators. They know that we're there. They, we know that they can see us. That way we're staying safe, they're staying safe, and everything's good to go. Back before we were paving asphalt, we were doing the concrete patches. And we had, say, two lanes closed for a long distance. Two drivers who are dr passing by, it looks like we're not doing anything in that area. They don't understand that we had concrete patches that are curing. They can't see that, they don't understand. So people think that they can just drive into the traffic control and they might run into our patches, they might run into us. We've all had close calls out here. We have people yell at us all the time. They'll slow down just to yell at us. They speed up as they pass by, but of course at the end of the day, they want that road paved. They just don't want to be inconvenienced. Stay off your phones. That, that's the biggest thing in, in this era. You know, it seems like it doesn't need to be said, but you don't know how many countless times I'll walk by drivers in traffic and they're on their phone and they're running too close to the person in front of them. They're speeding. Um, you know, that's, that's the biggest factor that I've seen is everybody's still on their mobile devices while they're in a work area. It's already bad enough to do that when you're driving in open traffic, but when you have construction going on, there's a lot more involved with that. It's not safe to begin with, but it's even worse now. The number one advice, actually go the posted speed limit. The speed limit normally here is 60. No one goes 60 then, but when there's construction going on, the speed limit's 50. Uh, no one's going 50 here. It would make our lives a lot easier and less stressful if people slowed down it's only a couple miles, it's not a big deal. And if a ramp is closed that you really need to take, go to the next open ramp and backtrack. It's very easy. So after listening to Joe and Justin, 
about safety and everything else at night. The most important thing out here is knowing that somebody's mother, somebody's father, somebody's son, somebody's daughter all work out here. So making sure that you're traveling through a construction zone safely is most important.